Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna finally work on a design using this uh, beaded peyote. Uh, it's a beaded component we worked on a couple of weeks ago and I finally decided to, you know, use it in one of my designs and show you what I did. And I came up with this really nice pair of earrings. Well, I just made one, so I'm just gonna use the second one to show you how to make it. But once you have this, it's pretty easy, but even this component is very easy. It's just basically even count peyote stitched up together and added pearls. That's all it is. So overall, this earrings is very easy. So you're gonna need a pair of the beaded too. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box for this. So go ahead and check it out before you continue with this tutorial. And then we're gonna make this gorgeous earrings. I still didn't figure out a name, but you'll probably know because, you know, in the name of the video, it will have a name of the earring. But look, I used some Swarovski and it's really pretty. I'll show you a picture of it hanging as well. It's quite hard to show here. So for this earrings, you'll need one pair of beaded tubes. Then you're gonna need some 50 no tohos. You can use delicas even here, but you know, it's gonna be harder to make a loop on the top if you're using delicas, so you need rounded beads. So I decided to use 50 no tohos. 50 no miyukis might be too small in this design. Then you're gonna need the same color of your miyukis, or you can use different colors, it's up to you really. So this one is 001 code, Miyuki Delica 11 O's. Then you're gonna need your pair of earring hooks. Then I used four mm bicones. You can use any four mm beads. You can use three mm beads. You can use five mm beads. It's entirely up to you. You can use any hanging beads at the bottom and just put any other bead at the top. So, you know, you can change a lot of things here to have a different look, but I'm gonna be using same 4mm, uh, I think it's fuchsia, uh, don't have a tag, but I think uh, it's 4mm fuchsia bicones. And you're gonna need your beading needle, I'm gonna be using size 10, you're gonna need scissors, you're gonna need your beading thread, I'm gonna be using Nymo, and that's basically it. I'm gonna thread my needle with the yard and then we'll get to work. So first to start off, you're gonna need your 50 nose. If you noticed, I made a ring of 50 nodes on both sides now that's not really mandatory it's actually just to add a line <laughs> yeah i don't know why i just wanted that line you can skip that step and just do this part and top part but i really wanted to add that gold line on both sides so i'm gonna add that with brick stitch i'm gonna show you how i did that so as I'm saying, you can skip that part. You can just wait until I get to the part where I start adding this, the fringe, and you can just continue from there or you can stick around and do what I'm doing. So first I have to add my thread. To do that, it's very easy. I'm just gonna go up. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit more. I'm just gonna add it like any other thread you would be adding in any other period. I'm gonna leave a short tail that I'm just gonna hold on to now. Another bead up. So basically, I'm gonna make a cross. So, see, I went three beads up in one direction. And then I'm gonna go down next bead, the neighbor bead. And then I'm just gonna make a cross going three beads down this way. That's the, you know, shortest way to add your thread to period without having to go to through too many. And then if I pull, it's nice and tight. And I can just go ahead and snip this. I don't like tails, so I prefer to get rid of them as soon as possible. And now we're gonna add that golden ring with brick stage. So I'm gonna pick up 250 notes. So see where my thread is, there is one bridge of thread here, right, I don't know if you can see it here. So here is one bridge and here's the second. So I'm going to take my thread through the, under the second thread bridge and then pull my needle through. 
And I think I can add some a bit. And then I'm gonna take my needle up through the second fifth through the second fifty now. And from here we just add it with brick stitch, that's all it is. I'm gonna pick up one fifty now, take my needle under the thread bridge, pull my needle through, take my needle up the fifty now we added. Pick up another 50 now, take my needle under the thread breech, pull my needle through and take it up the 50 now I just added, pull my needle, pick up one 50 now, take it under the breech, take it up the last 50 now I added and just continue like that until you add the whole circle. And I'm gonna meet you back here. So as you can see, I almost made the whole, I almost made the whole round. Now I'm gonna show you how to finish it off, how to attach your needle to that first bead we added, which is still wonky. So I'm gonna pick up 150 now, go through the thread bridge, well under the bridge, take my needle through, go up the 50 now. We just added. And I can see that I have to add the last one here. Pick up 50 now, go under the bridge, take my needle through, and take it up the 50 now I just added. And now it's time to connect it to that first 50 now and fix the wonkiness. To do that, I'm going to take my needle from top to the bottom of the 50 now and I'm going to take it under the thread bridge which is right under that 50 now. Pull my needle through and up the same 50 now. And our brick stitch circle is done. So I have showed you once, once you finish the fringe, you'll have to take your needle through the other side and add the same ring of brick stitch. And I will let you do that on your own later. But for now, I'm gonna show you how I add the fringe. So I'm gonna pick up three. Let me see if I started with unit of two. So, yeah, I started with two and then started increasing the number, okay. So I'm gonna pick up three delicates, 150 now, three delicates, 150 now. So see, for every fringe, I'm counting in units of this, three delicates, 150 now. So in the first one, I add two units. See, three delicates, 150 now, three delicates, 150 now. So on the first fringe, we add two units, and then I'm gonna add my delicate. And then I'm going to add 150 now. So once you're done adding your units, in the first one it's two units, you add your bottom bead for the fringe, which I'm using uh, bicone actually, yeah, bicone, and then 150 now. And then I'm going to drop it down. And then I'm gonna take my needle back through all those beads, but I have to skip the first 50 now. So I'm gonna skip the first 50 now, take my needle through the bicon, through all those beads we added, and through the bottom 50 now. And then pull my needle through. And here, what I like to do is just hold that bottom 50 now. And pull my needle. That's it. That's the first fringe. And to add the second one, how to get to your second place. I'm gonna go up one delicate. Down the next one. And 
and down here 15 or so in between every fringe unit you have one 15 or left see and that's where we are now to add the second fringe we do the exactly the same thing but I add another unit of this so I'm gonna pick up three delicas 150 now three delicas 150 now three delicas 150 now so see I increased it by one unit and then my bicone and 50 now so it's exactly the same thing just a bit more delicate and then I'm gonna drop it down and take my needle through back starting with the bicone through all those beads and back through the 50 now my needle through and then I'm just gonna hold that 50 now and make sure my thread is pulled that's it and then the next one I'm gonna go up one delica down the next one and down 150 now. So you always leave 150 now between the fringes. See? There is 150 now left, 150 now left. And now continue on your own. You just basically keep on doing the same thing over and over until you finish the whole circle, but keep on adding extra unit here. Every time you add extra three delicas and 150 now. And then I'm gonna meet you back here. So I'm done with the fringe part. Like, so we started with the two units and kept on increasing the number and with my uh, tube I ended up at the longest one with 10 units so it might be more or less depending you know how thick your tube is and now all I have to do is take my needle to the other side I actually might just finish off my thread here add a new thread there and add that circle of brick stitch now if you didn't do it in the beginning you don't have to do it here so just take your needle to the other side add the brick stitch or not and meet me back here so I went ahead added the brick stitch I'm actually using still the same thread you can tell I love challenging myself now all we have to do is just add the earring hook and to do that I'm gonna pick up two 50 notes, one delica, three 50 notes. And then I'm gonna pick up one bicone, drop it down. And then I'm gonna pick up 11 50 notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So five, one. 11.50 nose and then I'm gonna take my needle down only through the bicone make sure it's nice and tight and then I'm gonna pick up 350 nose 1 delica 250 nose and then see here the way I added this loop on top I'm I'm gonna attach it on three sides so it's attached on one now I have to attach on this side and on this side I'm not gonna count try to get exactly the same corners so I'm just gonna eye it considering it's here I know one will have to go here one will have to go here so I'm just gonna eye it approximately and come down this bead that's it and now I have to take my needle to this side and to do that I have to go down a bit Part, I think. So I'm just making my way to the third corner. Doesn't matter how you get there, as long as you follow the thread path. And don't pull too tight on that thread. I still can't okay I think I'm gonna go one more down one up up here and I think 
this one is approximately the third one out there. And then I'm gonna pick up two 50 nose, one Delica, three 50 nose. And then take it up through the bicon. And that's basically it. All you have to do, take your needle through all those beads at the top, go through the bicone, go down one of those three, and then just get rid of the tail. And it's almost done. All I have to do is just add my earring hook. And the earring hook I'm using is open. So I'm just gonna take it through the loop and I can just use some pliers to close it. And that's it. My earrings are ready. I hope you guys like them. I really like them. I'm, I'm gonna pop a picture while also, you know, in the beginning you will see how they look hanging on the picture. And they are gorgeous. And I'm especially quite happy with the colors, how they turned out. Didn't really plan for it, but it came out pretty nicely. So let me know what you think, guys, in the comment section. If you really like them, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new. Make sure to go check out my other tutorials. I have over 150 videos out. Oh. I think it's over 130 because it was over 150 but I accidentally deleted some videos so have to upload them soon. Um, thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one, bye bye!